I want to start this speech with a thank you to all of the students who have been exercising their First Amendment rights. As your current president, I have to be a leader for the class of 2020. What I've seen in these recent walkouts and rallies are students who are leaders themselves. The energy and effort that's being put into these events is remarkable. Regardless of your opinions, even voicing them is a form of taking action. I'm in awe of the way we as a class have come together. Shy people who rarely talk in class are screaming at the top of their lungs and holding signs at these marches. No matter your views on this, students like you have made changes on a national scale by coming together. And I feel the fact that we have this power is something that everyone can take pride in. This resilience and unity just makes me more proud to be your class president. By having this position, I'm representing you. That means that I listen to everyone who has an opinion and I give everyone that I come across an opportunity to talk. The safety of our school has been a major concern for a lot of people, but I can assure you that the school has taken measures to improve safety. Despite this, there is still an amount of fear and uncertainty. I believe that with these better safety precautions and a greater unity within not only the class, but our school as well, we can overcome the effects of the recent tragedy. In wake of the events at Parkland, we need kindness. I dedicated my entire first and second years as class president to carrying out good deeds. Simple things like attending someone's first club meeting or letting someone use your Quizlet for the Spanish midterm can give people an extra boost of confidence and a sense of belonging. I want to promote generosity so that no student ever has to feel alone. Throughout these past two years, the class officers and I have decorated a homecoming float, a spirit mobile, and more. We already have great ideas for prom, but what matters most is how we treat our peers. Not once in this speech did I say the word me, because this isn't about my academic achievements or extracurriculars. Being class president isn't about listing your accomplishments or showing the student body that you seem credible. It's about being a part of the class and being there for your fellow students if they need help. It's about being trustworthy enough to talk to someone who may be struggling in their personal life. It's about sitting next to the person who's alone in the cafeteria. I would love to be able to make larger impacts within our school, but unfortunately, the power I have is limited. As your class president, I stayed away from being authoritative or bossy. I believe that every person in the class is equal and your titles or achievements don't make you better than anyone else. Vote Lila Plaka for re-election as the president of the class of 2020. I will always take pride in the way that so many members of our class have united this year, and I will always take pride in our student body for upholding the strong meaning to our mascot, the warrior. Thank you.